Okay, today we are going to talk about the new Evolve boards. We have the Carbon GTR and the Bamboo GTR. I'm going to go over a little uh, overview of all the new features for both boards. And first I'm going to start off with the Carbon and then we're going to take this guy apart. And then we're going to go to the Bamboo and take that guy apart. So the first thing I want to talk about are the trucks, front and back for both boards. Um, they are forged. So all the new boards will come with forged metal on trucks, base plates, uh, struts, motor plates, and your truck arms. Um, motors are brushless. They are 1500 watt uh, non-nippled motors, vented. Um, with the motors, you have a detached cable. So it's a new design. Uh, basically, you just plug and play. You unplug and disconnect, get rid of your motor, plug the new one back in. Um, with this carbon deck, uh, it is a matte finish. Uh, we do have a new motor controller. The deck is thicker to offset for the new 14 amp battery. Uh, it is an 18650 battery cells, uh, 30Q. Um, same thing with the front trucks. Um, grip tape is uh, GTX style grip tape. So that's the exterior of the carbon. Now I'm going to take it apart. So we're going to open up the carbon, um, grab an 8 inch socket, Allen key. You can either use the socket or your Allen key. Um, so let's see what we got in the inside. With the new board, it does have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 screws. The reason why is this. On the inside of the board, it has a gasket that goes around the whole top of the board. And this is basically to keep water out of the battery and your motor controller. This is the gasket. Put that guy right there. Now we have one plug, disconnect. Right there. One plug, disconnect right here. And there's your battery. Battery is all enclosed. You cannot get in this battery. If you try to get in this battery, it will void your warranty. There is a seal on this that basically allows you not to get in the board and in the battery. So this is a tamper-proof battery. Uh, if you have issues with your battery, you need to contact Evolve and ship it to them. But it does have two cables, all enclosed. So with the new series uh, boards, there is a small battery. So this is the 14 amp, uh, and they are gonna have a smaller battery that you can put in here. Uh, so you can travel with the carbon and with the bamboo. Uh, you'll have that choice to do that whenever you order your board from the beginning. With the new battery and new motor controller, uh, you can see right here that it has um, new plugs new motor controller, it's all encased. Um, you can't get inside this at all either. It's all uh, tamper proof. Uh, they are new, using new connectors. Uh, it, all is, it, it is all sealed on the inside, um, so water cannot get inside. Um, they are using a new con charge connector. Basically everything on this board is a whole new design. Motor controller, battery, uh, everything. Um, um, these two plugs right here, are one way in, one way. That's it. You cannot mess it up. Um, plugs in, sits on top, and that's it. Um, putting the seal back on um, can be a little tricky because you have to line up all the holes with the screws so you can put your cover back on. But it does have a little small lip on this inside that fits around the battery. So it kind of just walks right into play. So that's it. Let's throw this guy back on and then get to the next board. 
So this is the Bamboo GTR. Um, same trucks as the Carbon, same motors. Uh, they are forged trucks. New brushless motors, they're 1500 watts a piece. Um, let's check out the underside of this board. So we have battery, starts from here, goes all the way to there. Motor controller, same style motor plugs. So with this deck, um, with these trucks, you can actually adjust the trucks um, on the deck. So I have it set, I'll show you real quick. I have it set all the way back, but you can raise it forward just a little bit. Um, it's your personal preference. Um, I mean, it's gonna just gonna make a shorter wheelbase, that's it. So this board is not gonna be as easy to take apart as the other one. Um, thing is, is you have to drop it from the bottom. I take all your screws out from the top and everything drops from the bottom. So let's get that going. So just a few more screws left and then we will drop the battery from the deck. I'm going to flip over the board. Okay. So no more screws. This is the battery. Cable. Disconnect. It's one cable. And there's your battery. the inside of your motor controller it's one cable and then it's all in this enclosed housing and with the motor controller it has one two three four five screws and then that will pop off so let's talk about this deck with the new Bamboo GTR deck. This is a five ply. Um, it is three bamboo and two fiberglass. Um, I don't, I can't get really close to this. I don't know how good my camera is, but if you can look at the tip of this, do you see how it's all laid together? Okay, so that basically means that this board is very strong, very powerful, and carving on this board, um, I do not like a bamboo board, um, but this board is my favorite long board to ride, uh, especially wood, and it actually changed my outlook on riding a bamboo board. I am strictly a carbon guy, and I requested to get this board because uh, I liked everything about this board um, and I already have a carbon. So um, I'm going to throw everything back together and I'm going to start talking about the motors and the motor cables and then basically the motor controller and then these little guys right here. Okay, with this battery, when you plug it back in, it has an arrow here and an arrow here. You plug it in just like so, that's it. You take your battery cable, you push it right back in place, you slide your battery back in there. It doesn't latch in place, you just basically find your first screws. So I'm going to flip the guy over, hold that battery. Place. Cool. Okay, so with the new motor cables, I'm going to show you how to disconnect. Oopsie. Okay, with the new motor cables, I'm going to show you how to take this apart and show you what the inside connector looks like. This 
nut out of here. Okay. So same thing with that. You have an arrow here and an arrow there. That's the inside of your connector. And there's your connector. So you can see they're all different. It only goes in one way. Has a flat point, rounded edge, flat point, rounded edge. Easiest way to do this is bring it back, line it up, and just push it right in. And that's it. Has a line right here, and that's where you stop. Can't go any further. With this new configuration, uh, if you ever need to replace a motor, it's going to be easier than having to drop the motor controller and having to fork out you know, the wire and set it all up. Basically, it's just as easy as taking the motor apart. I mean, taking your four screws out of your motor right here, disconnecting and pulling out, uh, pulling out the plug, putting your nut, taking your nut off, put your nut back on, that's it. Um, and you have to worry about five screws versus 25 screw. Uh, we also, they came out with uh, three color choices of street wheels. And they have the orange wheels, uh, they have the white wheels, and they have the black wheels. So that's all the cool stuff with the boards, the accessories. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the remote. Um, the remote has a lot of cool features with it. It is Bluetooth, um, so let me get rid of all this stuff and then we'll go over the remote real quick. So whenever you turn your board and your remote on, it's just one click on the board, press this button one time, it turns on and vibrates. I'm not pressing anything, the board automatically paired up. I just went on a ride, so I have 3% battery life left. It's vibrating to let me know that, hey, I'm getting ready to die. But with the new features we have right here are the Bluetooth, signal strength of the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, we do have the percentage. And I'm going to show you a few more things. On the wheel setup, it says all-terrain and street. If you click on the all-terrain, it will take you here. And you can flip flop through there, 47, 65, so on and so forth. Click out of that once, double tap, we'll go back into it, and I'll get back to my street setup. Okay, let's show you a few more things. In the options screen, we have your miles, your kilometers, your battery, your digital, and your, um, your bar, dead man switch on and off, power saver. The power saver is basically like a cell phone. When you have when you have your remote turned down and the screen will go off, when you look at it, your screen will pop back on. That's to save a little bit of battery in your remote. Um, so now we'll return back to the main screen and we'll go here. We have a, a speed limiter. This basically can be helpful for new riders. You can set this at 12 miles an hour, so your max speed is going to be 12 miles an hour. With a rider weight on the board, you might hit 9 miles an hour. But you can turn this off, you can set it at 15, you can set it at 20. I have it set at 20. But I'm going to turn it back off. Now we'll show you a few more things. Now in your product info right here, it has your board product ID, it has the board version and the remote version. So with this, you have the new app, you can get all your new version download software updates from the app to your remote and to the board since it is now Bluetooth technology. The new remote has a Bluetooth indicator right here. It is heavier than the old remote. Um, so if you have an older board, you can basically be able to find your remote by either this or the weight. Now I do want to show you the, the power saver. So if I turn the board down, you see how that turns off. If I turn it back up, it comes back on. 
down, and back on. Um, so that's the new remote. Um, one last thing for this board. On the very bottom, it has two little flaps right here. Evolve came out with an LED strip that you basically plug in right here, and then it goes along the side of the board on both sides. So when you have that set up, you turn your board on, the lights come on. And that's basically all of the cool new features with the new series boards. Um, so I'm going to just basically go over everything again. We have new motors. They are vented, non-nippled. We have forged trucks. The um, motor plates are forged uh, CNC, I think it's 70, 75 um, pressed um, aluminum and that makes it a lot stronger. Um, have fun breaking these. <laughs> Uh, we have the new motor cables, plug and play. Uh, we have the bigger battery, 14 amp battery, all encased. We have the new motor controller, we have the new connector. Uh, we actually have the small travel battery. Uh, it's a 4.2 amp. Uh, they are using the Sony uh, 18650 battery cells on that as well. I just wanted to tell everyone thank you for watching my video. Um, hopefully this helped on basically learning a little bit about the new products. Um, I am going to do a video on the new app, so you guys need to look out for that. Um, I do have my review video and my unboxing video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed all the videos. Um, sorry I haven't been on YouTube lately, I've basically been helping evolve uh, with this project. Um, I've been testing uh, these boards out for the actual this board and the carbon uh, for the last four months. I've been testing out the prototype boards for uh, let's see the last 10 months and I got my first battery pack uh, to test out for the boards um, last January. So I've actually been helping evolve uh, with the testing um, of this product for about 18, 19 months now. Um, so that's why you haven't seen a lot of stuff on my YouTube channel uh, or I haven't been posting many things because I really enjoy liking this. I like this board and you can't post it because it's not out yet. So um, that's why you haven't seen me lately. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this and catch you later.